this is not the color you want your urine to be. This is what we call cola colored urine. Now, please pardon the bubbles in here. It, this is actually literally cola that I poured into this urine container. Uh, and I did this to demonstrate what cola colored urine would look like. It's not going to have bubbles in it. The person who really has cola co colored urine, at least we hope it doesn't, right? But anyway, cola colored urine can literally look like cola. Now, I know you're wondering, gosh, what could this mean? Well, it could mean a number of things. Number one, it could be what you're eating. If you eat a lot of fava beans or if you eat a lot of rhubarb, okay, it can literally cause your urine to be dark like this. But also other things, a condition called rhabdomyolysis. You probably heard about this because every now and then on the news, you hear about some poor soul that is exercised way too much. They exercise so much that their muscles break down, literally. They end up in the hospital because it's a potential life-threatening condition and their urine turns dark like this and it's dangerous it's it's their muscles breaking down and this is one of the things that you see as a result also certain antibiotics things like flagyl or metronidazole uh, chloroquine other medications like senna we use that uh, to help you have bowel movements also things like robaxin which is a muscle relaxant seizure meds just some random medications but can do it but the other thing is this this cold colored urine could be a sign that you have liver or kidney damage which we do not want. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. We are talking about what the color of your pee means. Let's now go to this little guy. What is this? Well, to be honest with you, this is a little um, lemon crystal light <laughs> mixed with some water. I wanted to demonstrate what sort of normal pee should kind of look like. Now, this may be a little off, but you get the idea. It's got to be or should be about a pale yellow color. That's generally what we look for when we're talking about... Um, a normal urine color, okay? And let me just sort of one up this, by the way. If your urine is a bright yellow, let me tell you when my urine is bright yellow. And that's not this, okay? So let me put this down. If your urine is bright yellow, it probably or may rather mean that you are taking too many vitamins and supplements. That's right. Because when your body doesn't need certain vitamins and supplements, like when it has enough, you're just going to pee it out and your pee could turn like a bright fluorescent yellow. So if you always have light fluorescent yellow pee, you need to be talking to your doctor, number one, but also you should take a look at your um, supplements and vitamins that you're taking because that could play a role, okay? All right, moving on. What do we got here? We got some clear looking urine, don't we? Actually, this is really water, okay? Just wanted to demonstrate. So what does it mean if your urine looks like this, looks like water, if it's this clear? Well, it means you're probably overhydrating, okay? Because when you have too, I, I shouldn't say too much, but when you have enough, the more f water that you take in, the more dilute your urine is going to be. Remember, you can drink too much water. A lot of people don't think this is possible, don't believe it. You can overhydrate. In fact, overhydration with water can be deadly because what it does is it lowers your sodium content in your body. We need a certain amount of sodium in our blood to keep our cells and everything working. If you drink too much water, you're going to dilute that sodium and it could potentially send you into a coma if your sodium is low enough. You, you know what? I send someone to the hospital probably at least once a year with what we call hyponatremia or low sodium. And usually it's because they've started drinking lots of water, often as part of a health regimen or whatever, you can drink too much water. So super clear, clear um, uh, pee like this may mean that you are overhydrating. Okay, let's now move on. Let's go to orange urine. Let's say you pee and you're like, whoa, it's orange. What could that mean? Well, first thing I think about is, are you dehydrated? Remember I said that when you um, drink a lot, your urine gets clear. When it's about right, it's like a pale yellow. When you are dehydrated, don't have enough water in your system, it could become an orange color, okay? A very concentrated looking color. But that's not the only thing it could mean, right? It could mean that you're taking certain medications. Peridium, which is a medication that's often used for UTIs, can turn your urine orange. Uh huh. But also vitamins and supplements, kind of talked about that with the, the fluorescent yellow color. Uh, we talked about dehydration. If you eat a lot of carrots, okay? So certain foods, certain medications, etc., can do it, all right? Now, let's move on to red or pink yellow. This is one that as a doctor I do get worried about because first thing I worry about when I hear about red or pink tinged urine is I worry about blood. And that blood could be coming from anywhere. It could be coming from the vagina. It could be coming from the urinary tract. It could be coming from, you know, somewhere along the urinary tract, right? So it makes me think, does this person have a urinary tract infection? Do they have a kidney stone? Do they have vaginal bleeding? Like, 
blood, we always want to know where that's coming from, right? We don't want blood in the urine. But that's not the only thing that could cause pink or red food again. If you're eating a lot of blackberries, interestingly enough, are rhubarb. Rhubarb is a culprit with a lot of stuff. I mean, who knew rhubarb? Who knew? Um, also, medications. Here, we're again, we're talking about medications for Fampin, uh, Peridium, Senna as well. Um, and I'm sure there are many other things that can cause urine to be red. Uh, suffice it to say, if this is you, y'all, you need to be making a beeline to the doctor's office. All right? Okay. Now, let's talk about foamy or cloudy urine. Now, foamy could mean that you've got protein in your urine, could mean that there's an infection that's got to send you to the doctor. And a cloudy urine too needs to be investigated because cloudy urine could mean that you have a urinary tract infection or something else going on. All right. So you got to see the doctor for those two situations as well. Now let's talk about blue green urine. Child, let me tell you, this actually happened to me once. So what happened to me was I had gone to a birthday party where they had served cake and it had, um, and I love frosting. The frosting was like, it had a lot of blue green colored frosting. Okay. There was blue green when I went to the bathroom and it freaked me out. Um, so let me tell you, let me be the first to tell you, if you didn't know, food dyes can actually cause your urine to become blue green color. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, and by the way, blue green urine is not the most common medications can do it as well. As you can see, medications can cause almost any and all of these colors that we talked about. Also, um, sometimes when uh, urologists or doctors are doing bladder tests, tests on the bladder or kidney tests, they may use a blue, a green sort of type of solution to help help them see what they're looking at and do all their stuff. I'm not a urologist, but you know, they got their stuff that could then turn your urine blue or green. Um, also urinary tract infections could potentially do that as well. Okay. Uh, there are other possibilities and other possible urine colors along the spectrum. Remember if your urine is anything unusual, if it looks strange to you, no matter what the color is, please make sure you see your doctor. I didn't ask you, but I want you to write in the comments. Have you ever had a funny looking colored urine or funny urine? Uh, what, what did it turn out to be? What did your doctor say? Let us know right in the comments. Uh, thank Thank you guys for being with me. Let me know if you like this video. Share this video with other people as well. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician. Uh, I'm an on-air health expert as well. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Please click the little bell for updates. Also, follow me on Facebook. I'm on also on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, all this stuff. And I also have this free health newsletter, which I like. I'd love for you to subscribe. Uh, go to my website, www.drjencaudrell.com. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, I will put all these links in the description. Guys, I hope this is helpful. All right. Bye.